Welcome back, folks. We are getting set for UFC 196. It's coming up this Saturday night from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. The fight pass is going to be headlined by two lightweights in Diego Sanchez and the man that joins us right now, Jim Miller. These two men combined 43 fights inside of the UFC. And Jim, uh, first of all, thank you for joining us. And second, I know that Diego has fluctuated in weight, but how did it take this long for this fight to happen? Because a lot of people very much looking forward to this lightweight fight on Saturday. Um, yeah, you know, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> like, like you said, he's, he's gone up to 70s. He's been, you know, down to 55, back up to 70s, down to 45. So, um, you know, it's it's been a long time coming, I guess. You know, we've been in the in the UFC uh for a while now and, and uh you know he was one of those guys that I I watched on you know the the first one was Ultimate Fighter it was before I started even training. So um he's a he's a guy that's been around for a long time. Um so it's it's exciting to get to fight him, you know, and I, I have a lot of respect for him. Uh, you know, to, to be able to be in the UFC this long is uh it's uh definitely an accomplishment. Jim, when you uh, look at uh, this kind of the matchup with the Diego Sanchez, you're a hard-nosed work boot and hard hat kind of guy, show up with your lunch bucket and go to work and smash guys in the face. You know where he's going to be in the cage. Like, you know he's going to be right in front of you. How is that exciting for you? You know you're going to track this guy down. Um, yeah, you know, it's uh, it's an exciting fight because uh, obviously, you know, every time I step inside the ice, I'm, I'm looking to, to finish my opponent because I uh, I don't get excited if I win a decision. You know, I'm not. I'm not in there just to just to squeak by. I'm not in there just to, uh, you know, have three individuals on the outside tell me that I won. Right. Um, but you know, it, it's uh, sometimes you're in those fights. That's that's the way that it goes, and it's it's 15 minutes of uh, you know <laughs> uh, just exhaustion and yep. uh, pain and and all these things, and it's it's. Uh, it's a learning experience. You know, you learn a lot about yourself. Um, so, you know, I'm prepared for that, you know, and, and I've been in those fights before and, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable there. Um, but I am, I am looking to put them away, you know, and, and, uh, the more guys come after me, the, the, the better I do. Um, so it's, uh, it's a fight that I'm, I'm looking forward to. Earlier we were speaking with Diego and he was outlining just, uh, of course, with, with a lot of the changes with USADA coming in, he would like to see some more weight classes introduced to make it easier for you guys to to make different weight classes and have a closer proximity. For you in, in this new era, making 155, I mean, is that a, a weight class you're, you're happy to make right now? Would a perfect world include whether it be 160, 165? Uh, how, how is your body responding right now to making 155? 55 because it's never a process that any fighter enjoys going into fight week is the cut. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, I've, I've had pretty good control over it, uh, you know, throughout my career and, and, um, you know, the, the earlier in my career, before I was in the UFC, I was a lot, I was a lot smaller, um, you know, walked around the mid sixties, um, and so it wasn't that, that difficult to make a weight. And once I, I got a, couple fights deep into the UFC and, you know, had been a, a, a professional, you know, um, you know, there's a difference between fighting professional and being a professional fighter. Uh, once I kind of dedicated my life to it, I put, I put on some weight and, and, uh, it's, it's, it hasn't gotten any easier, yeah. <laughs> you know, it, uh, it, I, I had a, I had a, the toughest cut of my career, uh, last April when I fought in Newark and, um, not exactly sure why, you know, I, I did everything that I normally do. I, you know, followed the plan fight week. I was uh, same weight that I pretty much have always been. Um, you know, coming into into fight week, and uh, it just it. I struggled to take it off. You know, I had to work uh, extra hard to get the weight off, and uh, it didn't even come back on right. So I I I made the choice. You know, last year, and this is before even the the, the IV got IV bands, all that stuff got, got put into place. But that I was going to try to take off a little bit of mass. Um, so I, I've taken some weight off, you know, and, and, uh, the last fight I came in, actually, that was my 21st fight in the UFC and that's the lightest I've ever come into fight week, uh, in a UFC fight. You know, it was easier and I came in just right about there, you know, a pound or two heavier this time. And, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying to make it easier on myself. Um, 
I'm still not like totally, uh, you know, the whole IV ban. I know why they do it, and I want a clean sport, um, but I also want to have a hydrated brain mm-hmm. while I'm while I'm fighting. Um, so I'm not totally like buying into you know uh, what we kind of get told by oh yeah it's better to oily hydrate and stuff like that. But um, you know it. Uh, I think I think 165 would be perfect for me uh, where I'm at right now. Um, you know I, I'd have to take off just a couple pounds and wouldn't wouldn't feel crappy. So um, I think with you're you're gonna you know, see something like that or you know. You know, more weight classes or, or some type of change in, in the near future with uh, with the weight cutting. And, and uh, I, I personally would like to see a couple more weight classes added. Uh, Jim, when you uh, were looking to walk around a little bit lighter, obviously your diet's going to mm-hmm. change. Are you still uh, powerlifting? Is that still a part of your, your strength and conditioning? Uh, not as much as I was. You know, I, I uh, focus a bit more on just, just being in good shape and getting, mm-hmm. getting you know, uh, the kind of the the boring type of car, you know, yeah. and stuff like that, and just trying to feel good, you know, and, and that's the, that's the thing. Like, it, if if I was dieting hard and, and still lifting and stuff like that, it, it just it bangs you up, mm-hmm. um, you know. And when you're a couple weeks out from the fight, the last thing you need is, is that wavering confidence because you you feel like crap. Um, so, you know, I've just been trying to feel good and, and getting a lot of technique, and, and uh, you know, I get my I get my hard rounds in, and and. Uh, yeah, but feeling good. Can you uh, be the first guy to submit Diego Sanchez? Uh, that's the plan. Yeah, <laughs> might t- might be some bonus money then coming Jim Miller's way that we that we could be looking <laughs> out for on Saturday. That's always, that's always nice. <laughs> Uh, I also want to ask you about uh, a guy that has now burst onto the scene in Mickey Gall, who's been working uh, with your gym uh-huh. quite a lot. Is he back in the gym since his win over Mike Jackson? Because he's in a bit of a limbo situation right now where he's essentially waiting and I- I'm sure chomping at the bit to return and it's kind of out of his power. How much uh, have you been seeing him in the gym? Is he just regularly just keeping busy? Um, you know, I, I know that he's busy. Um, he doesn't train with us exclusively. Um, you know, right. he, uh, he he does a lot of his training, and he and he teaches at uh, at David Deeds, uh school. Um, and then you know he bounces around, and, and uh, so I, I haven't personally seen him in a couple weeks, but uh, I know that he is uh, he is training, and he's, he's you know like you said he's chomping at the bit to to get in there and uh, and fight again. So. Um, he's he's got a lot of potential that kid, you know, and, and uh it's it's exciting. It's exciting to see him get that opportunity. And how is uh how is the gym going, Jim? It's been uh some time since you guys uh launched it, but but how are things going and is it where you, you anticipated it being by this point? Um, yeah, yeah, it's uh, you know, we've been growing pretty well and, and um you know, it uh it's yeah, it's it's kinda where I expect it to be right now and, and obviously you're always trying to build and, and expand and, you know, being a being a business owner now, it's it's definitely adds some stress to it. I got a, a, quite a few more gray hairs than, <laughs> than I had, you know, a year and a half ago. But uh, it's uh, it's pretty cool. It's it's really cool to uh, to kind of have that. You know, I mean, it's we, we try to have a very close knit group and, and and family atmosphere, and um, it, it's really cool to uh, you know to have that positive impact on people's lives and stuff. So it's uh, it's uh, it's it's a lot of fun. You know, I can't take credit for this uh, this name being thrown out there, but was there any thought to naming this place Jim Miller? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> there was there was no thought naming that. But um, yeah, <laughs> we had a couple other ideas. We, we we weren't sure what we wanted to name it. You know, like, like Kick Ass Dojo or something like yeah. that. We're really looking forward to this one, uh, Jim. I don't think it, it's possible for this fight to disappoint. A lot of people looking forward to it. 6.30 Eastern, the Fight Pass prelims kick off. It's UFC 196 this Saturday night. Diego Sanchez and Jim Miller going at it at 155 pounds. Jim, thank you so much for this time. It was uh, great to speak with you. No problem. Thank you for having me. Again. Catch our UFC 196 pre-fight show this Saturday night at 7 p.m. Eastern time, leading into the prelim card from Las Vegas.